Today I got two shop lights right here that I think you are really going to like. So if you are looking to light up your shop area, your work area, or just something around the house, and you want to do it cheaply, but with a really cool feature that I'm going to show you later, you're definitely going to want to check these out. So let's get it started, shall we? What's up everybody, my name is Clint. Welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. If you're a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you would know that I like to bring cool tools to the channel. And I done got two of them right here. So what exactly are we looking at today? Well, we got two new LED lightage from Ryobi. But you see, these things have a really cool feature that your other LED shop lights probably don't have. I'll show that to you, but let, let's take a look at these real quick. So the first one we got here is the 1800 lumen LED Ryobi light. The second one we got here is the 3000 lumen LED light. Now there are a bunch of cool functions on these LED lights, like this one right here, you can swivel the head up here and then you can lock it down if you don't want it to move. So, 360 degree rotation. You got three different panels. So you got one right here, you got one right here, completely adjustable, and then you got this one right here, it's real big. You can bring this down if you want, and you can set this down on the battery if you want. You can bring it straight up like that. You can bring it like that. Set it down on the base if you want, like that, like that. So there's a lot of different angles you can bring this. Close this down, bring it over this way. But wait, there's more. You can see on the back of these, completely cordless. You can take them wherever you want. Or say you don't have any batteries, but you do need a light, you can use an extension cord right here. Yeah, that's right. So you don't even want to get into the Ryobi battery lineup. Don't worry about it. You can plug them in. And that, my friends, real nice. Like. However, for today's demonstration, we're going to go with battery power. Just plug them in like that. Let me shut my door right here. Shut off all my lights right here. Oh, spooky. So first, let's turn on the 1300 lumen. When you hit that button up on top, you're going to get the 1300 lumen. You hit it again. It's going to go to a medium. And then you hit it again. It goes to low. Hit it again, turns it off. Now the 3000 lumen is a monster. Whoa. Hit it again, goes to a medium. Hit it again, goes to low. Hit it again. Oh. So check this out. Boom. Even with the 1300 lumens, this thing is smaller, but man, does it throw off a lot of light. There is a super wide range on this freaking thing, and it definitely covers a lot of area. Again, if I wanted not so much light, I'd bring it down, even less light, bring it down, and then off. Oh. But let's take a look at the big boy here, the 3000 lumen. Damn! There is a lot of light being spread out through the entire shop area. Bring it down, hit the button. Bring it down, hit the button. Bring it down, hit the button. Oh. And again, what's cool about this thing here is if I want to adjust the light this way, if I want to adjust the light this way, if I want to bring it down, if I want to bring it up, you have a ton of different options to adjust this light. So you have basically a 360 degree lighting path or swath with this. Now on the 1300 lumens, you get 12 plus hours of runtime with this light if you decide to go with the battery. Of course, with the plug, it's you know, endless. And with the 3000, well, it does not say. Now the warranty on these, three years each if you buy through the Home Depot. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check them out. Remember, if you buy from Amazon, eBay, or anywhere else, you do not get the warranty. Now I do want to point out that on the 1300 lumen, the power button right here is very simple to get to. However, on the 3000 lumen, the handle does not move and the power button's right here, which makes it kind of a pain in the butt to get to. I mean, I'm not having any issues with it, but I wish this handle would collapse at least so I can get to it a little bit easier. Now, as for weight, they're super light. I can do this all day long. You're only looking at maybe like four pounds, three pounds, I don't know. I love this little stand right here. You can loosen that up and swivel it at 360 degrees. And as far as it goes with build quality, it feels pretty freaking good in the hands. It's like a heavy duty plastic, which I'm actually sort of surprised. These feel nice. You can also put each one of these on a tripod. You see right there? See right there? And then you can use them as a stand light, which is real nice. Like. Now what really gets me on both of these is the width, the light span or the span of light is insanity. Even on this one right here, this fixed light doesn't have any of the you know, other attachments. It got a really nice swath. Super freaking bright, but this one right here is a monster. Speaking of monster, I'm gonna tell you something. Thank 
God, I had these things. Listen, it's Halloween tomorrow, and I had done caught something on film that I never thought I'd ever see in my lifetime. Thank God I have my video camera. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So today we're looking at some brand new Ryobi lights. <laughs> the scariest tool review ever. What is that? Don't ask questions if you don't want the answer. It's a good thing I got this. Even Ryobi can't save you. Let's go check out what that was. Maybe that's not a good idea. Hello? Who's out there? It was a question he wished he'd never asked. Show yourself. This weekend. Power on. Prepare yourself for the most frightening tour of you ever. Ah, it's just an alien. That don't bother me. <laughs> Makita gnome. Oh. oh, give me a break. Little did he know what was around the last corner. Wait until he gets a load of this. Oh my god. I told you. <laughs> Behold your greatest nightmare. Oh, because 99% don't know I'm a ghost right now. Oh, hit that like button because it's free for you to do. You can't escape it. Leave me alone, damn it. 99% don't know I'm chasing you right now, cuz. I'd like to sell you some merch from the very cool gang, cuz. Where are you going, cuz Bo? Oh, looks like I got you now. Oh, 99% don't know how scary I am. Oh, boy, I gotta tell you, cuz you really do like the struggle. You're a beast. Oh, very spooky. Don't give me nightmares. So there you go all, these are the brand new Ryobi LED hybrid lights. Yes, you can use battery, you can use a cord, doesn't matter. They are really, really cool. I definitely like these. I think they did a great job on these and I love how these things adjust. And this one here, you could do the 360 and all that good stuff. You know, what's really cool about these is even if you're not in the Ryobi battery platform, you don't need to be because you can plug these in with a cord and these are great for the shop around the house. If you're camping, whatever you're doing, the work area, you'll, you'll really like these. You know, the other thing cool about LED lights is they basically last forever. Again, you do have a three year warranty on there. So I definitely say check them out. If you're looking for a cheaper solution, you're looking for gifts, you know, around the Christmas tree, somebody out in the shop, you know, mechanic, woodworker, carpenter, you know, or just somebody that needs some light around the house. I'm telling you, this is gonna make a good gift. But of course I wanna know what you think. Do you like these new Ryobi LED hybrid 18 volt lights? What did you like about them? What don't you like about them? I love hearing your feedback. So leave me that sweet, sweet comment in the comment section below. Also, if this video has helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button. Appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.